All right, all right. Okay, brethren, get your authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, the true and real scriptures. It's going to be a very quick video here. Um, it actually will be. But I'm going to be answering a specific question um, given to me by a dearly, dearly beloved sister. Um, I, the sister, who I'm not naming, I'm not naming anybody who has asked me a question because... Um, for them out of courtesy and that's none of your business. I love you. But here's the question and I was sent this link um, from a video of Brother Brian where he addressed this. Here's the question. Quote with the link here up on top. Is the 200 million correlating also for those who are killed after the catching away or is the 200 million only for those in Christ prior to and at the catching away? Okay. Revelation chapter 5, verses 9 on to verse 11. Herein is where we answer this question. Revelation 5, verses 9 on to verse 11. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood, out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation. And hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Talking about the millennial reign with our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, for a thousand years. When he come back, we are coming with him. Okay? Now here it is. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands. And when you do the mathematics, as Brother Brian had said, it's, about a, it's over a hundred million, under two hundred million, actually, that are truly saved, and that go up, okay? Okay? So, the question, is the 200 million correlating also for those who are killed after the catching away? No. No, it is not. Okay? Because when you look in Revelation chapter 4, verse 1, after this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will shew thee things which must be hereafter, the catching away. Now there are some things we have to remember about the book of Revelation. Revelation number one, brethren, Revelation the book of Revelation does not apply for us today in this dispensation, the time of the Gentiles. Okay? It does not. Instruction and in righteousness? Of course. Of course. Especially chapters 2 and 3, which describe, can also be used to describe certain types of persons, spirit, soul, and body. Yes. Yes. Within the book of Revelation, chapter 17, we find out who Mystery Babylon truly is, the Roman Catholic Church. Okay? we Through that, we get this, yes. But we have to remember. We have to remember about the book of Revelation. It's not written for us. I mean, it's, excuse me, excuse me. It's not written to us. Beg your pardon. It's written for us. All the book is written for us. But not everything is written to us. Okay? You and me mostly are Gentiles. Okay? Uh, for any of you who are truly Jewish and who are truly saved, hello, hi. But most of us are Gentiles. And this is the time of the Gentiles to make the Jew jealous. Okay? Because remember, the Jew is the apple of God's eye Nothing's going to change that. Okay, but that you need to remember that. 
book of Revelation is not written to us. Okay? It isn't. It isn't. We're not going to be here, Church of the Living God, to see this. Okay? We get uh, redeemed, caught up. The son of perdition is let loose. Okay? And also, too, you do have to remember in spots within the book of Revelation, they're not necessarily in uh, chronological order in some places within the book of Revelation. More specifically, Revelation chapter 12. Won't get off on that in this video. But, to answer this question specifically, okay, uh, the catching way happens. And then, they sing a new song. And in verse 11, in Revelation chapter 5, okay, And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts... And the elders and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Okay? It's under 200 million. Okay? Precision number, we don't know. It is under 200 million. Okay? Okay? Is the 200 million correlating also for those who are killed after the catching away? No, it is not. Because... Once we are caught up, you know, redeemed, this dispensation is over. The time of the Gentiles. And a new dispensation, the time of Jacob's trouble, begins. Faith and works. Okay? The returning of the law, the sacrificial temp uh, system, the third temple is going to be rebuilt, where the abomination that maketh desolate the son of a uh, perdition, oh, beg your pardon, the beast, midway will go in and say, I'm God. Okay? So, or is the 200 million only for those in Christ prior to and at the catching away? Yes. 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 It is for the latter, not for the former of that question. Dearly, dearly beloved sister. Okay, um, this video um, of Brother Brian's, I may link in the description box uh, of this video. So, you know, it's like, what, 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 which one are you talking about? Because the guy's got a lot. Uh, I might link it in this one just so you know. But yes, to answer that question. And if any of you out there, the Church of the Living God, have that question, you know, great question. Um, hopefully this will answer it. Uh, yes. The um, 200 million, actually under 200 million, um, are for those in Christ prior to and at the catching away. Okay? So that number is for those who go up, not afterwards. Because remember, the dispensation ends when we get caught up. Okay? Very important to remember that. Rightly dividing the word of truth, brethren, sisters, church, and living God. Um, again, if you do not rightly divide this book, you will have problems. And that's one of the biggest problems of many of, for example, these stupid charismatics telling you about all this Trump stuff and whatnot. I'm not going to get off on that, but these people don't rightly divide the word of truth. Okay? We have to remember the book of Revelation. Brethren, instruction and in righteousness, absolutely. Within the book of Revelation, absolutely. Book of Revelation is not written to us today for this dispensation, the time of the Gentiles. That's the Pauline epistles. Okay? And for the time of Jacob's trouble, the book of Hebrews and the book of James are going to be expressly applicable for that time period. The Jewish people during the time of Jacob's trouble, I wholeheartedly believe that they're going to find the answers to what they uh, for what um, they're looking for within the book of Hebrews, and th thus going on to the book of James. Okay, so 
Hopefully this will answer your question for some of you who have thought about that. And on to the dearly, dearly beloved sister of ours who asked this question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Got another video coming today, Lord willing, answering another question. Wonderful, beautiful question uh, asked of me of a brother. Um, so that's coming up next. Lord willing. Um, but also, too, I, I want to take this very quick moment to mention this onto the Church of the Living God. Um, this past, this week, has been an absolute, oh, has been an absolute blessing uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father. Um, a couple days ago, uh, our brother, our friend, our beloved Alexander Hartley, ascended <laughs> from Missouri and came and visited my wife and I here for a couple days, um, which was so beautiful, so beautiful. It was, a, it was a blessing. It was such a blessing in so many ways. Um, because remember, coincidences don't exist, brethren. Okay, they do not exist. There was a reason that our brother, our friend, came to our house to visit us. There was a, there was a reason. And uh, we know what that reason was. To God be the glory, great things he hath done. But during that time, uh, we were able to go through the scriptures. Uh, also, um, for the next video, uh, our beloved brother and friend, Brother Alexander Hartley, um, helped with the video, which will be coming later today, Lord willing. Okay, he was able to help with it, which was great, which was great. And over while he was with us, um, uh, uh, my wife, who is the best cook, <laughs> that there is, period, um, made wonderful food for us, and we, it was just a wonderful time of fellowship. And um, and the privilege was all ours, brother. The privilege was all ours. I know some of you, the brethren out there, who might have tried to get a hold of Brother Alexander were probably like, well, wh where is he? Where is he? You know, and, you know he, he's usually pretty quick to answer things. He came and visited us. Praise the Lord! It was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. We I, I I had done a little video here on my fancy schmancy cell phone, which I was going to upload, which had my wife and brother Alexander in it, but I decided not to up uh, to publish that. I uploaded it, just hasn't haven't finalized it. It's not hidden or um or unlisted. It's just I haven't done anything because. There are people out there, my enemies, unfortunately, who will attack my wife. And I'm not going to put my wife through that. She's already seen uh, for those who she had wept for herself and loved very much. Uh, she has seen people who she cared for and prayed for um, turn, to be, uh, turn out to be true devils. And it was heartbreaking to her. And she has seen some of the comments. Uh, <laughs> from people who call themselves Christians. And it's like, oh, I don't want to get, I, I understand, baby. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. But I um, just wanted to share that with you, with you, brethren. No. Uh, he, he did uh, arrive unannounced, yes, but God was at work. And it was a privilege. It was a treasure, true fellowship with uh, our friend, our brother. And um, that was worth more than gold, yea, than fine gold. So anyway, um, I, I just wanted to share that with you, uh, our brethren. And um, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to take a bit and get to the next video here in a little bit. And um, Lord willing, thank you. Thank you. Again, all of you, Church of the Living God, we love you so very much and pray for so many of you. Thank you.
We'll see you in the next video, okay?